What distinguishes a claim of justice from other kinds of assertion we make about politics, about society, the market? Whatever it is, justice seems to be importantly about distribution. Maybe not only distribution, but a lot of what we argue about in law and policy involves someone getting something and why. Now, we've seen that our intuitions are often pulled in different directions depending on what's being distributed. And at least for the examples we've considered so far, it doesn't seem as though there are easy answers here. Answers that we'd all agree upon. Grades shouldn't be distributed uniformly. Okay, but what exactly is this academic merit that is supposed to determine the distribution of grades? Should grades reward improvement or simply the raw excellence of an assignment? Should effort matter? And how about voting rights? Should they be uniform, or should there be some kind of civics requirement? Same question for jury duty. Now think of other questions along these lines. Why don't we make sure that everyone has some threshold of wealth and opportunity so that they can live a decent life? Why do we let the police carry guns? Why should benefits of citizenship in, say, Canada, depend on something as morally arbitrary and capricious as the luck of being born here? or being able to get through, or even get access to, the immigration process? Do we have obligations to protect the environment for future generations? Do we have any obligations that we don't freely choose? Whatever you think the answers are to these kinds of questions, I challenge you to formulate your answer in a way that doesn't end up using words like ought and should, and that doesn't take a persuasive stance. Something like, we should do this, and here's why. Whatever justice is then, it seems to involve a balance of considerations, an appeal to good reasons. And those reasons tell us what we ought to do and why we should do that. The reasons then justify an ought claim. And often that's a claim about how to distribute things. Now again, is justice best understood in distributive terms. It's hard to say, and that's a question we'll keep coming back to, but whatever justice is about, the reasons offered seem to be regulative. They aim to convince us of the rightness of a particular outcome or course of action. And if justice is about reasons and regulations, then our considerations so far would suggest that different problems will involve different kinds of reasons, justifying different kinds of claims. For grades, learning, merit, effort, these seem to be the paramount considerations. But what about rights of citizenship? What would merit mean here? How about fundamental rights to bodily integrity? Do some people deserve those kinds of foundational rights more than others? Consider this. We can live a happy and healthy life, most of us, with only one kidney. Whereas some of our fellow citizens desperately need a single kidney to survive an illness or an accident. Now for us, losing one kidney is an inconvenience, but for them, it's literally a matter of life or death. Why don't we solve this problem roughly the same way we solve the question of jury duty? We'll have a mandatory random kidney lottery. What's this then? A liver on his card. Need we say more? No! Listen! Listen! <laughs> now, yet again, uh, whatever you think about this particular proposal, uh, if you're like me, you think it's a pretty horrific proposal. But notice that the ought claim here, you should give up your kidney. That claim demands that we argue about reasons. In this case, reasons that would justify such a profound invasion of bodily integrity for public purposes. And before we dismiss this example as beyond the pale, I think we should ask ourselves how we should think about profoundly invasive violations that routinely happen at many border crossings. That uncomfortable question raises another concern that will be lurking behind much of what we'll read this term. If justice is regulative, 
if it tells us what we ought to do, does justice then presuppose some way of enforcing those regulative claims? Does justice require a coercive state? Thomas Hobbes thought, roughly, that we can know what justice is. We can know what it asks of us, but we can only live on those terms. We can only practice justice when there's a sovereign who can bring the power of the sword to enforce our covenants. Without that sword, promises are mere words, and so are philosophers' reasons. Now, is that a troubling thought? Justice tells us how we should live together, but does living together justly always invoke the specter of violence. If it does, then justice is a deeply important problem. Indeed, it's literally a matter of life and death. 